Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so here he is. They call him T-City, short for Triangle City, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega is a great fighter, a guy that has all the ability inside the octagon. He started as a jiu-jitsu practitioner, but you have seen the evolution of Brian Ortega as his career has continued to go on, has continued to proceed. Brian Ortega is getting better and better and better. He has now found himself staring across the octagon of some of the best fighters the division has ever seen, and he will continue to do that as long as he keeps developing the skills that are necessary. And sometimes it's hard to become a champion without having tasted defeat. A lot of people believe the Max Holloway fight for Ortega will be something he can build upon moving forward. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Brian T. City Ortega! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the ten. Nice body shot there. Collar tie now. Mixes it right up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Effective strike there by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. So at long last, he finally lands his first.
first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was gonna stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lee's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Oh, nice guillotine there. Let's go, escape. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. That if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield, try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he gets in there deep. There you go. Oh, and he chokes him to sleep with the arm triangle. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My God. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Brian T. So there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.